Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to have a go at this problem where we've been asked to find the ratio between area A and area B. Okay, let's begin by adding in this line which goes through the point where the two triangles cross. Now if we consider these two bottom triangles they both have exactly the same height but the base of this triangle has a length of 1 and the base of this triangle has a length of 2. Therefore this triangle is twice the size of this triangle, which means that its area must be 2b. Likewise, over here we have two triangles, and they have exactly the same height again. Again, the length of the base on this triangle is twice the base on this triangle, therefore this area must be twice this area. Therefore this must have an area of half A. Now let's consider this larger triangle on the bottom. This has a total area of half A plus 2B plus B. So half A plus 3B in total and that equals, well, the base of this triangle is 1 plus 2, and its height is 1. So that's an area of 1 times 3, all divided by 2 for a triangle. Now let's consider this large triangle here. This has an area of A plus half A plus 2B. So that's one and a half a plus two b and the area of this triangle can also be calculated as being two plus one times two which is three times two and of course it's halved again for a triangle so let's call this equation one and this equation 2. Now if we multiply equation 1 by 3 we get 1 and a half a plus 9b equals 4 and a half. And if we now deduct equation 2 from this the a's disappear and we get 7b equals one and a half or B equals three fourteenths and if we now substitute this into say equation one we get half A plus three lots of B that's nine fourteenths equals one and a half that's three over two Therefore, half A equals 3 over 2, which is 21 over 14, less 9 over 14, which is 12 over 14. And doubling both sides, we get that A equals 24 over 14. Now we want to find the ratio of A to B. So this is 24 over 14 to 3 over 14. And multiplying both sides by 14, we get a ratio of 24 to 3 or 8 to 1. And that's our answer. So, does area A look about eight times bigger than area B? Suppose it does. So that's it. Bit different this time. See you in the next one.